Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this presentation. Today, I'm going to briefly take you through the usage of Foundation Pile Macro in Tecla structures. Taking into account that the Foundation Piles are capable of taking higher loads than any other spread footings, we have two fundamental types of pile foundations. One is uh, end bearing piles and two friction piles and both are based on their structural behavior each of which works in its own way let me just zoom this closer each of which works on its own way for example we'll take uh, the case of end bearings and bearing piles which are normally driven straight into, uh, through the soft or unstable soil to rest on uh, a strong layer soil or a rock and the key point here why i'm trying to demonstrate this the key point here is see is if you intend to subject this this building or any kind of building similar to this to heavy loading such as overhead crane installations of higher loading capacity and any other installed heavy machinery with high vibration transmissions it is it is advice it is advisable at all cost to consider applying foundation piles to transfer all these loadings and frequencies to i mean deeper into stable and uh, a strong layer of soil deep deep inside the ground which is very very important now I'll take you through on uh, on pile foundation application or how we can uh, apply this to this model and uh, more of the details I'll, 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 I'll explain that on the on the next in the next tut uh, tutorial now we'll go straight to applications and component uh, button there and just go straight and type piles you just type piles then the macro will come there will, will pop up automatically we'll use this concrete foundation which has piles right, right there if you want to see the details about setting the uh, the foundation piles to your requirement your requirement just double click on this and this dialog box of foundation piles will come up this one here this will come up and you'll be able to set up all this to your requirement. And uh, I've just briefly set this just for your demonstration how we can apply foundation piles to a structure of this kind. So in, in terms or uh, proper ex explanations on how to um, apply rebars on pile foundation, um, uh, I mean pile foundation columns, I'll explain that later on on the next presentation. Now, at the moment, I'll go take you straight on how to apply these foundation piles on this model. Now, I'll take you straight after accepting that, after accepting those settings, I'll take you straight to applications of that macro. Now, having picked or having clicked on, on foundation pile macro, I'll just go straight and click on that uh, steel, uh, steel column. I'll press my middle button on the mouse and just click any spot above or below that uh, column base. And I'll do the same to this end. I'll press my middle button and just click on the bottom end there. And it will appear. Let's wait for it to, all, to load. Let's just give it time to load properly. Or if it takes time, we can just populate this along the Y axis. It will appear. Let's give it time. Yeah, there we are. Now we'll go to the next one. Right click and do that now from here we just populate this along the x i mean the along the y axis 
let me just finalize this i'll click on that press on my uh, press middle button on my mouse and snap right at the bottom there perfect now i'll come to this end yeah zoom closer i'll click on that column and, pl and press my middle button on the mouse then come and click right on the bottom of that right click and uh, and interrupt to exit that that uh, foundation pile command now i want to copy this let me close that because at the moment it has no use for us now i'll click on this and right click and come to special copy i'll come to linear right there now i want to populate this along the y-axis here if you take a look down here you have y-axis in that direction but it it will it is pointing on the opposite direction where we want to populate this we want to populate this in this direction but the x y c x y or the y axis axis is pointing the opposite now we'll come to y axis here and feed a negative then follow with the interval measurements in between these columns in between these columns they are i mean it's five meters now we'll feed five meters there how many do we want we want one two three and four now we'll go straight here and feed four in four of them then we go straight and, and click copy and wait to see the response right away it has responded there are four of them so these are just columns that are being drilled right into the bottom end into the by i mean by passing the soft soil into a very very stable soil inside or inside the i mean deep in the ground the main reason of using uh, of using pile foundation is when uh, you i mean the the ground is uh, is very uh, is a little bit unstable and uh, the building you you intend to erect is will be subjected to heavy loadings like i explained uh, in that explanation that maybe you intend to install a crane or heavy machinery that will transmit or has high Africa, higher vibration transmission you you are advised it is it is advisable i mean to use foundation piles now i'll go to navig nav navigate and uh, go to rotate i'll rotate with mouse because i want to populate this along the full length of this structure now i'll go i'll right click and interrupt to uh, exit from uh, that rotation command now i'll go to that end and press control on my keyboard and select on this now i want to populate this foundation pile along the full length of this of this structure i'll right click and come to special copy i'll pick linear right there now on the x-axis the, dire the direction we intend to populate these piles the x-axis or i mean on the x-axis it's positive no there's no, now there's no need of, put, of feeding a negative sign right there now we'll convert these to zero then we go straight to xy axis now we'll feed six meters because the interval measurements between these columns are six meters and now we want to quite a number of this 126 of this having fed that on this dialog box of copy linear we'll go straight and click copy and right away we wait for the response after invoking that copy command it will respond just immediately we give it time perfect it has copied now we'll go straight away and click ok right click and interrupt to, to exit from that command now we want to go straight away to this end and do the same thing place our foundation piles i'll rotate this and turn this round like this by pressing my left button on the mouse hold and You'll be, you'll be able to turn this around or you can rotate your model by pressing ctrl r now i'll come back to the pile foundation pile macro 
I'll click on this column and press my middle button on the mouse and just click uh, any point at the bottom right there. I'll undo this. I'll click right there again and press my middle, middle button on the mouse and come right there and click right there. I'll undo that and uh, come here and populate this along the y-axis. I'll right click and come to special copy linear. Okay, thanks for watching this video and let's meet on the next presentation where I'll be explaining on how to place this, uh, the rebars on uh, foundation piles. Let's just rotate, turn this round and you'll be able to see how this has been applied. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Don't, sub don't, f don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos to come.